Hey everybody, Dylan with the HD Perspective here. Got the snap-on flyer for the month of June. Let's take a look. So first thing, they've got their new half-inch impact. Uh, I watched a tool review from Real Tool Reviews. I'll leave a link in the description to that. Um, but yeah, it had actually less power than the outgoing model. But the thing that I do like about it is it's a little bit smaller dimension wise and lighter as well. So that's always a plus. I find when you're getting up to that power rating and if you need that much torque to get something loose, usually you're going to break out the torch anyways, or you get the three quarter impact. Um, so, you know, it's a trade off, I guess. I would probably take a little bit lighter and a little bit smaller over more power but to the tune of $662.95 it'd be a tough sell. At the top of the page got snap-on e-torque wrenches or wrench set for $279.75 yeah I don't know more and more you need them I kind of hate that manufacturers always come out with these new fasteners I guess e-torques aren't incredibly new but Sometimes I wish they just keep it simple and stick with a regular bolt. And then at the bottom, they've got their toolboxes. There's an Epic series and a Master series. Of course, pretty pricey. They're nice toolboxes, I'll give you that. I don't know, if you got your heart set on one, I would definitely talk to your Snap-on dealer about it and try and get the price down. They have quite a bit of room to give as far as the price is concerned a lot of the times you can get them down you know 40 percent or more on this page you've got a starter kit and a service card at first glance it looks like it's buy one get one but i don't think it is from reading it uh, you know it's got a little bit of everything it looks like a decent enough set if i was starting out would i go this route i don't think i would uh two thousand bucks and then you know another grand pretty much for the cart here they've got, you know, an air hammer and a chisel set. Um, unfortunately, they don't include the chisel set with the air hammer. I would look at something from IR, probably a lot cheaper and a lot better. And also, they've got 16 ounce dead blow ball peen soft grip hammer. You know, they're nice enough hammers. I find over time, though, the little metal heads, they get loose. I'd probably get in the, the next size up to 16 ounce probably isn't quite enough maybe for some smaller stuff if that's what you're working on if you want a dead blow hammer you can look up trusty cook they build dead blow hammers for matco and a bunch of other companies um probably a lot cheaper route to go maybe a little bit and then 11 piece punch and chisel set yeah i just go to princess auto or harbor freight in the states i guess and pick up a punch and chisel set there because you know they get beat up banged up and they're kind of consumable item i don't know if you want to spend close to 300 bucks on punch and chisel set here they've got their half inch impact once again 662 dollars yeah i don't know if i'd spend that much on an impact i think three four hundred bucks is kind of tops for me for half inch air impact 57 bucks for some impact gloves that's also pretty pricey for something, you know, you spill some oil on and they're pretty much wrecked probably anyways. And then the three quarter drive heavy duty air impact wrench. I actually have this impact. I bought it on eBay for $300. It was used, but my thought was even if it didn't work, I could probably get a rebuild kit for, you know, 100, 200 bucks. And for, you know, 500 bucks, I'd have a nice three quarter inch impact. Uh, Fortunately for me, the impact worked really well, hardly been used, and, you know, it's been awesome. They are a good impact, I'll give you that, but, you know, do you really want to spend a grand on it? If you can handle having something that's used, eBay is always a good route for finding air tools. Now they've got the three-piece multi-position pry bar set, the 8, 12, and 16-inch. I don't know, maybe uh, automotive they'd be good, but they seem a little bit short. I think, well, Mac Tools has one with the extendable handle. 
Uh, it's probably a rebranded gear wrench or something like that for 100 bucks, and you know maybe that'd be the route to go i personally don't have these pry bars you know some of the guys i work with they really like them i've always had them kind of on the to buy list but not really high priority if i find the right deal maybe i pick some up probably not for this price though and then they've got the three piece straight tip pry bar set basically giant flat screwdriver i prefer the pry bars with the uh, curved end on them uh you know, I don't really have a need for a giant straight screwdriver. And then four piece instinct grip long pick set. You know, good set to have. 64 bucks. Not too bad. And here they've got snap ring pliers. You know, all the different sizes and angles and stuff. They've got a five piece and a 12 piece set. And they're giving you a little bit of a deal on them. You know, they're not uh, too bad. If you're. Looking at snap ring pliers, what I would do if I was to do it again, I would probably get the Nipex ones. They're kind of purpose built, you know, internal and external instead of kind of all in one. A little less flex in the snap ring part or the plier part, I guess. Might make life a little bit easier. They looked interesting to me. I haven't personally tried them, but that's probably what I do. And they're a little bit cheaper. And actually, funny enough, uh, usually the snap on truck is the cheapest place to buy Nipex stuff. I know you can get them on Amazon or you know Home Depot or whatever, but I've always compared the prices and they're actually cheaper on the Snap-on truck, so go figure. Here on the side of the page they've got their uh, screwdriver set that they seem to always carry in every flyer, at least so far this year I think. You know, and they're giving you a few bucks off. Not a huge sale, but whatever. 15 bucks or so. And then they've got those plier wrenches or the PWZ pliers. Um, yeah, I actually really like them. I've got the two biggest sizes, like the, I guess the three and a half jaw and the two and a half jaw. I use them a fair amount. Usually if I go on a service call or something, I'll throw them in the service truck too. They've kind of saved me a few times. They kind of take the place of a pipe wrench or channel lock pliers. I even used it as a bench vice once, holding a solenoid block, hydraulic block, to the fender so I could get the fittings out on a service call out in the middle of nowhere, and it didn't have a vice, so it got me out of a jam. Here we've got, you know, their diagnostic software for Navistar and trailer brake software. Something interesting, I guess, about ABS on trailers is that it uses a protocol called PLC, which stands for power line communication and a lot of your other adapters like from Nexic or whatever they talk in J1708 so every time you use that to hook up to you know an ABS system it's got to translate between that J1708 and PLC language and uh, you know if you're installing one of the fancier ABS modules like you know from Air to Wapco there's the RSS plus usually you have to program all the parameters in there it doesn't always work so well and you have to try, you know, could be like 20 times to get the the uh, ABS module to take the information. So sometimes it's nice to have the proper adapters that, you know, speak the language that you need, like PLC. And then they've also got the Hino engine software. Down the bottom, they've got their video inspection scope. You know, they came out with this a little while ago. And looks like they're trying to sell it once again. They've also got a UV view imager. Kind of interesting, I guess. That kind of plugs in with the inspection scope. And then they've got the UV lights to go with it as well for 23 bucks. Here they've got their smoke machine. It looks like it'd be pretty handy to use. I've never used one. I've heard lots of great things about them. $3,395. Looks like it'd be kind of a shop tool or something, but hey, if you're a flat rate, rate mechanic and you make your money by beating the time, might be something to look into. It could pay for itself, you know, fairly quickly, depending on what you're doing. Last page, they've got their general service set. I didn't see a price anywhere. You know it's going to be expensive. 58 pieces, 3 8 drive, a few different ratchets and extensions in there. You know, I don't even think I'd get chrome sockets anymore. I just go with impact sockets. 
a lot of the impact sockets have a pretty thin wall nowadays. And, uh, you know, why buy both? You can save the money and just buy impact. Well, that does it for this one. Thanks for watching, everyone. Really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye.